c'est quoi ton histoire, Vancouver? Quelle est ton histoire, en Vancouver? Je suis à Vancouver. Je suis à Vancouver. Je suis à Vancouver. Je suis à Vancouver. Je suis à What's up, Vancouver? We got Andrew Santos from Global Degree here at our headquarters here. What's your story, Vancouver? Let's talk about the Netherlands. Andrew, where are you Hello. from? What's your story? Uh, yeah, so my story is I grew up in Burnaby, uh, not too far from here, actually. Uh, born and raised and been there my whole life and I got into videography filming my friends snowboarding mountain biking and that kind of translated into like hey I can make money off this and I started working um, doing doing videos and getting into the professional video world and then I got picked up by a YouTube channel called Global Degree they actually held a competition and I won that and I just got back from a trip with them we did 41 countries in eight months. That's insane. All filming it, so yeah. Dream job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a dream job for sure. Yeah. So, um, how did you, like, how old were you, I guess, when you decided you wanted to, to do this? Like, when did you get your first camera, your first computer? Uh, yeah, um, I, I started, I figured out I really liked doing video in high school. In, the, in like the early years of high school, my buddies were like, oh, it'd be, we'd always go to the bike park and stuff, so naturally I wanted to film it and put it online too. So uh, my first video was a mountain bike video, just on like a dad camera, like with a mini DVD in it. In grade 10, I got a Canon T2i, and that's when I really started. I was like, okay, now I, I'm playing around with the ISO and the shutter speed and all that. And, um, and yeah, from that T2, I actually did a lot of work with that. Uh, while I was in high school, I decided I wanted to do this uh, for a living. And, uh, so where did you go to school? Yeah, yeah. Vancouver Film School. Nice. That's where I actually met Sean as well. And uh, we were in the same class together. I did digital design. I actually didn't do filming because I kind of felt like I already had a grasp on how to use a camera and all that. So uh, I wanted to further it with like adding motion graphics and cool editing and sort of something to set apart my videos from other people's. Exactly. And uh, it was only two. It was only a one-year program. I did two one-year programs. I did like a foundation and then I did uh, digital design. Nice. So what was your inspiration? Like, what was your goal? Your inspiration? What was it that? made you think oh I want to do that kind of thing and and when you decide you want to do that from your inspiration um, what, what's your goal what's your yeah so I, I was just like so into watching mountain bike and snowboard videos online and like wow if you could like make a living doing that type of stuff mm -hmm. then like I'm all in like I, I enjoy watching it so much and and I, I, I figured out a way to do to copy it or like not copy it but I was inspired by them mm -hmm. so I'd be making similar similar products and similar videos and um, yeah I just always aspired to, to, to make get a make a living through video nice. so yeah. it's a mixture of lifestyle and work yeah, yeah combining the two so for sure does it feel like work to you ever no, not really. It's, 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 I mean, there's obviously some days where you're editing and you're looking outside and you wish you're outside, but I get to do so much. So, like, while I'm filming, I get to do a whole lot of fun stuff. And sometimes I'm like, just, I gotta step back and I'm like, not take for granted, like, holy crap, I'm in another country and I'm doing this. And it's just like, you just, your camera takes you different places. And uh, yeah, really, really thankful and grateful that that I can do that. Great. Yeah. Well, take us through the steps then. You, you finished uh, school with BFS and you heard about Global Degree. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get involved with Global Degree? So actually, um, right out of school, I got a job uh, for a startup as a videographer. And that lasted like a few months. I just, I didn't really like being tied down to more of a corporate like uh, business type, like going into the office nine to five. And um, I was able to save some money through that. And um, I thought, you know, what, I'm gonna use this money to go travel and film since that's what, it's been always what I've wanted to try out. And um, so I quit my job and I was like looking for odd, odd jobs here and there, contract work and uh, Global Degree is looking for an editor. And um, so I did a little bit of editing work for them while they were in Asia. And uh, before they came back, they actually announced that they were throwing a contest for somebody to come with them. And uh, I hadn't actually met them in person yet, 
um, when they announced the competition. And I was like, hey guys, like I really want to travel and film, and like this is something I've been looking to do. So I I entered the competition, and uh, they had come back from their trip, and uh, it was like a few months after they were announcing a winner. And uh, I, I put a, a video together with the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the parody, a parody video, of the Fresh yeah. Prince of Bel Air. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute and tell you about me and why I'd like to travel with global degree. British Columbia, born and raised on the mountains, where I spend most of my days filming out, maxing, relaxing, or cool, and shooting some B-roll inside of the school. It's definitely a different direction than most, some of the other entries. I decided to do like a creative creative approach to it and I think that gave me like a little bit of an edge on the competition. I found out I won like a week before we were gonna go on the trip. Oh really? What was your reaction like, when you when you went? Oh man, I was so I was so excited. Um I I didn't know what to think. I mean getting told you're gonna go travel every single country in Europe and like pack your bags is kinda like surreal. That's didn't, a lot of information feel, to take in. Didn't feel like it was real life. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to get like visas or I'm gonna have yeah. to do this or like I don't even know. But like thankfully I just live at home with my parents still and it was easy to just like just drop everything and go and exactly. quit my job. It was almost like meant to be a situation. Well, how many countries have you visited then through Global Degree? Uh, through Global Degree, I did 41 countries. Wow. And I had never stayed at a hostel before the trip. I, I didn't even really know what like the whole backpacking vibe was. I did one little trip to Indonesia on my own. Yeah. But other than that, I would never been used to traveling like that at all. Oh. Yeah. Well, traveling can be really stressful at times and things yeah. always seem to go wrong how does that play into fact with you are you guys really like on point you guys really have everything locked down and scheduled perfectly and and <laughs> you know, things always go <laughs> wrong you just roll no, with it. No, no, i mean like, we try we try and schedule stuff but it never seems to <laughs> like, like you said like it's yeah. it's so hard like if we're not on a train by a certain time to go somewhere we can't plan in advance and it's like it's really difficult to know when like I don't know, train schedules from Albania aren't easy easily accessible from here. Yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, a lot of it is just going with the flow. Um, we said we want to do all of Europe. We had an itinerary before we left, but we just could, did not stick to it. Nice. We we're just like we're in one country, and and some a local or something says you have to go here, and like so we'll end up traveling to another place. And um, and yeah, we we just go with the flow. Nice. Yeah. What has been the reaction of people you run into, or like who do you? I, I've seen the videos. You kind of just—it's kind of what we're doing, actually. Just come up to random people and asking them to say this or that, or like be a part of what we're, what we're doing, kind of thing. We want to be inclusive, I guess. But, yeah. yeah. Um. So like, yeah. Whenever we show up to a hostel, the first thing we do is we ask the staff, like, what's what's good to do in the city and, and fun and the the best thing about hostels saying hostels is there's always like bodies laying around like always people yeah. like ready to willing to help out i mean like yeah. especially solo travelers they're like looking for people to hang out with it's like such a cool thing where we're like hey guys we're about to go bungee jumping like does anybody want to come with us from here and like sometimes we'll even have an open spot with the sponsorship where we can actually accommodate them with us nice. and um, so there's no shortage of, of people to go and uh, everybody's always so open to it because they're there to have fun and and uh, we can incorporate that into uh, filming and and just show what's what's to do so what basically do you guys do on a, any like a given day? Mm -hmm. What's your day like basically when you wake up to when you go to bed? <laughs> yeah. So usually, usually we'll we'll get help. Well, our first thing we do when we go to the country is just like uh, talk to a local yeah. or like the staff, the hostels, and they give us some great ideas, and then we we plan based around that. Um, for example, um, some countries. The host owner knows that we're coming and they already have lined up activities for us like switzerland we we had that we had we went bungee jumping and then the next hour we were like wakeboarding and then the next hour we were like paragliding it was all very scheduled 
Or it'll be like, oh, hey, like we, we do walking tours and we hop on a walking tour and then we realize that there's like this cool like underground clubbing scene there and we, we kind of like it, the day just takes us yeah. on its natural path. And, and, and some days are the funnest days when you just have no plans and you just like end up going somewhere that you never thought you'd be. What's yeah. your favorite country so far, best experience? Oh, it's, it's hard to say. I get that question a lot. Yeah, and like, yeah. it depends for what, like scenery and like just like being in awe. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Cappadocia in Turkey mm -hmm. and it was like I entered another planet. I had like, I'd never seen rock formations like mm -hmm. there were. Um, it looked like it was straight out of Star Wars. They actually did some probably filming stuff. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it was. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can explore, you can go into like caves and they're like multi-level caves. And uh, so, I mean, that for like landscape and being in awe and then adventure, Switzerland. We had an amazing oh, yeah. adventure in Switzerland. That whole country um, is just big adventure. <laughs> yeah, I mean like there's, the, you have the, everything there, the mountains and yeah. so, so many opportunities to do sports. And um, for example, uh, parting Croatia and Malta. Yeah. Yeah. Malta was actually very surprising. It was the one country I, I knew hardly anything about and mm -hmm. just blew my mind all around. How did Global Degree, how did they tell you that you won? Like, what was their, did yeah. they call you? Did they send you an email? You... So it was a video competition mm -hmm. and uh, there's around 250 applicants. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an online format, so all the videos were online. And you you had to you had to get your friends to vote for you. Um, I was in like the top the top voting, and then they also judge it as well. So it was like top votes plus judges and uh, sponsors judging it as well. Um, so they had this video. They announced like a live video stream, and uh, so I was at home watching with my two parents. were watching a live stream. And like also making sure that we're watching live and it's not like lagging and uh, yeah, I just found out through that video. In your experience, what, I probably won't use this, but what's been the best country or city for women or... For or, women? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, I, uh, yeah, for women? I liked Ukraine. Ukraine. You or, or Serbia? Yeah. Serbia, I feel like has the most beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Whether or not they're attainable is like it's another, sexist, is another question. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Serbia, I was blown away by the woman there. Mm -hmm. Scandinavia too, yeah, like still. Nor Norwegian Swedish Swedish woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All they're all too tall though. Yeah. They're too tall for me. Oh really? They're so tall. Yeah. yeah. If you could do any job in your field, what would it be? Mm. This is a this is a tough one for me because I'm like feel like I'm just it. figuring it out too. Okay. I, I'm I'm I am doing it. Yeah. I am I am I'm following my passion and maybe maybe just working on bigger projects. And I really love Vancouver, so um, not being on the road as much, yeah. but like in the future, like balancing out like having a family and going to film projects. Mm -hmm. I see myself like you know filming a big like say action sport film for like a couple weeks in a different country and then fly exactly. back home i think that would be that'd be like my next step and next goal you mentioned mountain biking and, and extreme sports and yeah. that kind of stuff is there something in that that area the two that you would you want to check out and you want to try you want to check off the list i i'm really into like when creativity meets action sports mm -hmm. so i know like red bull is pushing the limits with that type of stuff mm -hmm. um there's like some other companies that are doing the same thing as well and just like you know not just your regular action sport video but adding to it mm -hmm. and uh, that's the type of genre i want to go after so what gear are you using right now what are you shooting with so on the trip we took a sony a7s with us um, a whole bunch of Canon lenses um, and uh, Rode video mic and, and glide cam and that's pretty much like the glide cam A7S um, 24 to 70 is kind of like it's kind of like an all-around kit that's sort of run and gun you can take anywhere nice. yeah and stuff easy to get around <laughs> yeah easy to get around nice. like it, it'd be harder for us to carry around like a big like a big camera like a red or something like that just because like we're so in the moment lots of the times that we don't have time to set up exactly. um so those cameras are really the a7s uh the gh4 um just cameras like that are really good right now for that type of stuff has there been anything on the road that you've done in your travels that you thought you'd never do in your life or wanted to do 
and you've done it and like or some favorite like bungee jumping for instance or yeah. skydiving is there something yeah. like that that you thought oh, you did a push you kind of have to for sure there. I have a massive list of stuff it's kind of yeah. like the whole Europe trip was kind of like I never knew this was on my bucket list but it's on it now and I'm <laughs> doing it <laughs> like um, one thing I never thought I'd do is like jump solo out of a plane, skydive. Um, I'd never been skydiving before and over box wine one night, we all decided we're getting our skydive license. Not even just skydiving, we're, yeah. we're getting our skydive license. And uh, so there was three of us, there was four of us actually. And uh, the next day we went and we jumped out of a plane 10 times in two days. Wow. And um, we got our skydive license. <laughs> So that was pretty remarkable. And uh, you document it too? That's yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, it's all documented. Yeah. The only thing is you can't you can't uh, wear a camera if you're learning how to do the skydive. Yeah, okay. So all our instructors have the can the GoPros. Okay. But I definitely want to get into like when I can skydive with like a, can a legit yeah. camera that'd be epic. No doubt. Yeah. I think Sean and I any viewers out there they can hook it up. <laughs> Sean and I definitely want to do a skydive and maybe document it as well for a show. Well, maybe plug your outfit. <laughs> just, just saying. So yeah, meet up with us and do some skydiving. Definitely, yeah. if I, if I can, <laughs> we'll definitely game for that. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, Andrew. I really, really appreciate it. I'm sure fans will appreciate um, you coming. Uh, one more question, actually, is uh, how does somebody get into do what you want to do? Like any um, up and coming. Um, do you have any advice for any up and coming uh, yeah. people, uh, young, young artists like yourself? For sure. If you want to get into it, I'd say just put out content, as much content as you can. Get Learn learn your way around the camera. Uh, one thing for me that I really um, made me learn a lot and push my limits is entering video contests. Yeah. And you can see the reaction of people too. And uh, that way you're not just putting it out there to nobody. Um, like you have judges and, and it, it'll push you that way. That's how I, I like doing it. Um, and it taught me a lot. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to put your stuff out there. Your first your first video isn't gonna be the best. Yeah. <laughs> Every filmmaker can say they exactly. laugh at their first video, but um, it's just getting over the, stu the, the uh, milestone of just like putting your stuff out there and, and not caring. Just That's great advice, I just put the one foot in front of the other and do it. Exactly, yeah, one step yeah. at a time. Yeah, I can't stress that, uh, stress that enough. All right, again, thank you so much. I'm yeah. a little fist bump. Thank you for having <laughs> right. me. What's your story, Vancouver? Our city, our stories.